Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install the Steelcraft full width Jeep bumper on this Gladiator. For this installation, I'll be using a 13, 15, and 18 millimeter socket, a ratchet, an 18 millimeter wrench, an impact driver, and a pry tool. Now make sure you're subscribed to our channel to keep up to date with all our latest content. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're starting off. We've already got the bumper off of the Jeep. Uh, this is the inside of the bumper that faces the Jeep. Here is our trailer receptacle. We're going to need to pull this out as well as our tag lights. So first you want to pull out the trailer receptacle because you got to do that before you can get the tag lights out. So what we're going to do is pry on this metal over here until it starts to go through and then pry on this side over here. Work it back and forth a little bit and it'll pop out. Let's set that to the side. All right, now we're also gonna need to get behind this metal bracket. Uh, on both sides of the bumper, we're gonna do this. We got a 15 millimeter, 15 millimeter, and 13 millimeter. We're gonna pull those off to get that bracket out. All right, next we have two clips. What we're gonna do is push in uh, to the center of the clip with a screwdriver and pry down to pop those both out. All right, now that's going to allow us to pull those two tabs out. We're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. Okay, now this part of the bumper cover needs to pop off of the rest of the bumper. So what we're going to do is we're going to start working that off. We're just going to start prying as we go apart. And we just have some clips that are going to come, uh, come out. Uh, these clips here, if you squeeze them a little bit, they'll pop right through. We've also got some clips down at the bottom. They're all part of it as well. Those are gonna pop out. We're just gonna work it all the way across. and go ahead and pull this completely off. Okay, now we need to get our tag light out of this right here. So the way we're gonna do that, this has to come off and the tag light's gonna just drop right out. So what we're gonna do is kind of pry up on this tab here and then pry out on the housing. Pry up on this tab. And then we've got another tab up here. And this is our tag light. Repeat the same for the other side. 
Okay, here we are at our new bumper. This is the back side of the bumper. Here is our factory trailer receptacle. What we're going to do is from the front side, we're going to feed it through the back. It's going to line up perfectly and just snap right in. Then on each side, we're going to find the tag light that works for that particular side. They only go in one way. Uh, now you're going to see there's kind of a hook on this side and a clip on this side. So when we feed it through, we're going to hook it and then clip it. Okay, so now on the inside of the bumper, what we're going to want to focus on first are these spaces right here that take our backup sensors. Since we do not have backup sensors on this uh, truck, what we're going to use is the supplied rubber plugs. Those are just going to fit in. Let's push them in nice and tight. That way those holes are covered. And next, this is our double bolt plate. It's going to slide in behind this bracket here. And we've got some plastic retainers. We're going to fit those on. All right. And do that on both sides of the bumper. Okay, so here we are at the passenger side. This is a rear frame horn. Uh, what we're going to notice is we've got a couple of holes up on top of this frame horn. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our passenger side bracket. This is our support bracket. It's going to go right on top of those two holes. Uh, now this needs to be offset to the outside of the vehicle. We're going to take, for both of those holes, a supplied uh, bolt with washer and go down through the top. And then from the bottom, we're going to use a supplied washer, lock washer, and nut. And put that on there finger tight for right now so we can go back and tighten it down later. Repeat that for the driver's side. Okay, now I've already got the truck taped off with some blue painter's tape. That's just to protect it while we're lining up the bumper. So what we're gonna do is hold the bumper up to the truck, make sure the bolts coming out of the back of the bumper, our bolt plates, are going into the holes on the frame. Uh, you're also gonna wanna have someone help you line this up and hold it in place while you fasten the hardware from below. Now we're going to go ahead and line up the hardware, slide it into the frame. Once it's in place, we're going to use a flat washer, lock washer, and nut on each one of those bolts. All right, now this is going to be a little bit difficult to see, but what, where we are right now, I'm going from the back side of the support brace that we put in place, and I've got a bolt with washer that's coming through. On the opposite side, we're going to do flat washer, lock washer, and nut. We'll repeat all of these fasteners on the opposite side of the Jeep as well. And once we do that, we're going to go ahead and line everything up and tighten down the hardware. Okay, now we're going to use all 18 millimeter tools for this, uh, wrench and ratchet. We're going to tighten down first to a frame horn with these two. Next, we're going to come up top up to here and tighten down uh, the bolt holding our support brace uh, to our bracket.
All right, and finally, we're gonna come up here and tighten down the two bolts to hold the support brace to the frame horn. Now repeat the same with all the fasteners on the opposite side, and then we can connect our trailer harness and our tag lights. All right, you can go ahead and plug in the tag light on the other side as well. Okay, well, we went ahead and popped in our license plate plugs, and that concludes the installation. If you found this video helpful, make sure and give us a thumbs up. If you want to know more about the product, check the link in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.